Over them bitches in your life, nigga. Man, today is a great motherfucking day. I'm feeling motherfucking good. We in here doing what we got to do. And we glad you could come through. Yeah. Man, once again, it's another episode of the Top Back Nigga Show. Uh, you know the show is brought to you by Ball Smack Streetwear. You could go through there and check us out at uh ballsmackstreetwear.com. Go through there and check us out. Uh, we got the flavorful shit on deck for you there. Uh, hot flavors, bomb, bastic type of t-shirts on deck for you fuck with your boy man and and we appreciate you coming through fucking with us uh also the show is also brought to you by uh chapter one media ch1 media.com you can go through there and check them out, man. That nigga smooch over there. Go give him a call. I mean, well, you know, go check them out. Uh, all your business cards, flyers, man. They're giving you deals, man. You spend more than $100 with them, man. They're going to treat you real good over there. So go check them out. Chapter me, Chapter1media.com. Huh? Uh... You know how we get down. We always come with a flavorful agenda for the motherfuckers out there that's listening. Uh, our agenda is as follows. Uh, niggas in the news. Reader, listener, email. Uh, restaurant of the week. And our topic of the day. And, um... Our topic of the day today is going to be old bitches and young niggas. Old bitches and young niggas. You know what I'm saying? We're going to touch on that. The ups and downs and whatnot to go with that. And um, there it is there. You can email the ball smack at ballsmacknosislive at gmail.com. Ballsmacknosislive at gmail.com. If you got any questions or anything for the ball smack, you want to reach out and holler at the ball smack. <clears throat> also, you can go through my MySpace page. Uh, MySpace.com forward slash the ball smack topsoil. Uh, T-H-A on the The Ball Smack 
top soil. Um, leave me a message or a comment or whatever. Show a nigga some love. You can check me out on my YouTube page also. Whatever, man. You know, we're just doing everything on the internet these days, huh? Okay. Let's get into it. Oh, I wanted to point out um, the music that you're hearing in the back for the first part of the show is uh, uh, Black Stardust. That's my nigga uh, Imani from the far side. I wanted to show niggas a little bit of love. You know, he got the album coming out. Uh, Black Stardust. Uh, pretty good cuts on there. Um, you know, it's hot. All right. Uh, anyway. Restaurant of the week. The restaurant of the week this week is a spot that is... This is a cold motherfucking spot for y'all out there, man. It's the Pelican Grill. The Pelican Grill. <clears throat> out there in Newport Beach, man. Now, I know niggas don't know about this spot because I barely found out about it. But I'm going to tell you something, man. This is a flavorful motherfucking spot right here to take a bitch. You understand me? They got the bomb. Bomb Ocean Views, man. Luxury dining, man. Go through there, man. I'm, I'm going to give you the number 877 uh, 735-4226. That's 877-735-4226. Uh, the Pelican Grill, man, out in Newport Beach. You need to fuck with that. Very expensive, though, but fuck with that. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Oh, I wanted to let motherfuckers know. You could you could get you some ball smack streetwear at Kick It Skate in downtown Long Beach in the art district on uh 509 East Broadway. Uh Kick It Skate, man. Go down there, holla at my people's berry. Man, I'm telling you, man, that's a little uh tight boutique skater situation going down right there. They got, you know, they take care of your skateboard needs and they got all the hot fashion in there, man, and it's in the area. I'm telling you, man, that downtown Long Beach area is on the come up on fashion, man. A lot of motherfuckers don't know about that over there on Broadway and First Street, man. That's like a, a little booming thing, man. I'm trying to put you up on game, man. A lot of motherfuckers fuck with Melrose, man, but that's an upcoming little spot, too, if you ain't trying to roll that far. So, yeah, fuck with Kick Escape. <clears throat> they got that ball smack streetwear in there. All right, uh, let's get keep it moving, keep the show going. Uh, niggas in the motherfucking news. Niggas in the motherfucking news. And um, today we got a couple of folks in here, man, and um, we gonna go on and touch on them. We got your nigga Ti off in there, man. Now, you know that nigga T.I. man was facing the penitentiary, the, 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 the charges that was going for sure have him deep off in that penitentiary, that federal penitentiary, but it looked like old T.I. pulled some shit off and was able to get him a little old bullet in the feds, man, able to get that little old bullet, he gonna go do him a little year and come on home, man, I wanna give some love out to that nigga T.I. for dodging that bullshit, man, I hope you learn from that stupid ass shit you did to get you off and in that situation, man, I mean, come on, man, don't be no dumb motherfucker with all them tickets, you understand me? Man. T.I., much love, nigga. I'm glad you only had to do a year, nigga. I see why you're smiling on that MySpace uh, profile picture, huh? That nigga grinning like a motherfucker, huh? Yeah. Some old niggas in the news. Now, I I, I want to touch this, man, because this... I, you know, I've talked about these motherfuckers before, and I really shouldn't even talked about them that time, but Jay-Z... And Beyonce, man, and rumors of marriage. 
pianist, damn me. Jay-Z and Beyonce, rumors in marriage. Rumors of marriage. Man, I, why do motherfuckers give a fuck if they get married? Why, why motherfuckers give a fuck about them like that? That's just, that's just man. Fuck Beyonce, man. Man, I, I don't understand the hype, man. That bitch is not that motherfucking fine for motherfuckers to be acting like this behind that bitch. That bitch is like okay now. You know, understand me? You understand me? I, I mean, no, I mean, so what? You know, man, I, I man, nobody should give a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? Now let me let me keep that keep it moving, man. Let me keep it moving. Oh yeah, that bitch Naomi Campbell, man. What the fuck is going on with this bitch, man? That's a crazy bitch right there, man. That is a crazy bitch. I wonder who the fuck be fucking with her. That bitch is just known for fucking motherfuckers up, man. Now she was about to get banded from an airline because she fucking motherfuckers up on the airplane, man. On the airline. You understand me? That bitch trip on her assistance. Motherfuckers around her, man. Just a pretty crazy bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? Naomi Campbell, you need to calm the you need to calm the fuck down, man. You's a wild ass bitch, man. I mean, man. That bitch is crazy. I never really did like that bitch. That bitch is weird to me, man. I I, I don't know. Man. Alright. That's niggas in the news. That's niggas in the news. Uh Let's keep it going. Let's get it to some reader, listener, email, reader, listener, email. We got a few of them today. And the first one. Now, this one is kind of a little bit long, but I'm going I'm to I'm 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 lace motherfuckers with this one because I want motherfuckers to feel this. And, and this go with what I was talking about before with, with jewelry and shit like that. But anyway, here, this let me lace y'all. Okay, this is a female. This is a female from Inglewood, California. And I'm not going to release her name or nothing like that. But she says, uh, Ball Smack. Um, I'm an avid reader of the blog. I read the blog at work. Me and my girls, we be tripping off of you. You crazy as fuck. All right. Here's my situation. I met a nigga at Jamaican Gold. At the Jamaican Gold. And he seemed real cool when I met him. He was he was rocking some ice. He had a real nice chain, little diamond chain with a medallion. Had the little pinky everything and the watch. He looked real nice. His clothes was real nice. I mean, he's just a handsome dude, and he really would have been handsome without all those things. But you know, he was you know looking like he was doing it big and was real cool, laid back. We, we talked and, you know, exchanged numbers. Then he asked, uh, you know, later on and then that night, he asked, could he, was, he, was me and my girls down to go to breakfast, um, which we declined. But when we was in the parking lot, we did get to see him. Um, he flossed, flossed in, the, in, the, in the brand new Tahoe on us with the big rims and, he looked real fly like he was doing it big and everything. So, you know, a few days later, he gave me a call, wanted to hang out. Um, he came and picked me up, you know, wanted to go out for a little bite to eat, a little conversation. So he came and picked me up in the, you know, raggedy 300ZX from the 90s. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, also, you know, minus the eyes. You know, I didn't trip. You know, I'm I'm cool. You know, after the day, we went out, had a nice little something to eat. Uh, you know, and came back to my apartment. You know, hung out. I didn't let him do nothing. It was real nice, good conversation. 
But I gotta admit, you know, I start having a little funny feeling about the dude. I hate to be tripping, you know. I'm not hating on the 300ZX or nothing like that. But I just started having a little funny feeling. Then after the day, uh, after that day right there, we hooked up again. And we went out and had another little bite to eat and whatnot. And this time, he took me to an apartment after the date. But... You know, I'm a real bitch. I've been in the streets and whatnot. And he took me to this apartment. And the apartment just didn't have no furniture or nothing in there. It was just a bean bag and a TV, you know. Not even flat screen, you know. And it was like an empty tilt, you know. Kind of made me feel like this was like the dope spot or something. I don't know, you know what I'm saying. So, you know... Uh, I asked to go to the restroom. I went to the restroom. You know, I looked around. There wasn't really no toiletries major in the restroom. You know what I'm saying? So then I asked him when I came out, you know, is this your place? And he said this was his place. And, you know, I was like, all right. So for the next date, you know, I, I, I suggested, you know, let, let's go out to, you know, somewhere different. Let's go to Roscoe's in Hollywood. So the next day we went out and we went to Roscoe's in Hollywood. And, you know, we had a nice little time. You know, it was all right. You know, once again, we in the 300ZX. You know, I'm not tripping, but, you know, I'm like, you know, feeling kind of funny still, you know. So when we was leaving... Uh, Roscoe's that night Uh I see this This nigga Walking in The uh Roscoe's with two females Wearing What look like Is the same chain That this dude was wearing the other night And it, and it kind of tripped me out I, You know kind of like you know it, I, I, I noticed it, but, you know, I was like, wow, you know, because he had, like, a really unique medallion on his chain, right? And it was, like, the same medallion. I'm like, wow. And then the dude knew him, right? So, you know, he tried to, like, keep it quick, like, say what's up to the dude and keep it moving real fast. But I knew he knew him. And, you know, I, I, we, we end up leaving now. And then when we was walking out the Roscoe's, <coughs> across the street was the same motherfucking Tahoe that I saw him in in the parking lot at that club. Now, I know that dude was wearing the same chain, the same diamonds, and that was that dude car that he was driving at the club. Now... What should I do about this? Should I get a dude a shot, show him some love? Or, you know, I, I just feel like this is just a fake-ass motherfucker right here. You know what I'm saying? So, that was long and drawn out. I hope y'all paid attention to that. You understand? We got a female right here who met a dude that was wearing somebody else's diamonds. And it was driving somebody else's truck. And she basically realized it. And from what's being told also about his residence, he probably lying about his residence. And she wonders, should she continue? Okay. Of course not. You should not continue. You know, you should never fuck with a nigga that then presented you with a faulty front such as this. That's all some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? If you continue, you know you fucking with a faulty ass nigga. Now, I'm not hating on niggas, but that you're going to be dealing with a faulty nigga right there. I mean, you know, what can I say? I always tell niggas, if you're going to front like that, you better just go ahead and get the pussy that first night. If you don't get the pussy that first night, fuck it. You understand me? It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna work. That shit ain't gonna work, man. You're gonna end up blowing the bitch. You're gonna end up losing all kind of respect and lose, looking stupid as fuck, man. It's just like this nigga right here. The rocking his man ice, driving his man's car. It's faulty. 
baby girl don't fuck with that nigga. All right. And uh, I'll get you a Balls Back t-shirt, baby. That was a good one. All right. Yeah. Our next uh, reader, listener email comes from MySpace. I got this message on MySpace. And this nigga is, claims to be a student at UC Riverside. All right, but he don't, he didn't leave no name. All right, he says, ball smack. I know a bitch at our school who uh, is out there. She's, you know, she flies, she look good, but, you know, she got a reputation for fucking with a lot of different niggas. I know personally that she fucks several different dudes on the basketball team out here. Uh, you know, uh, she just, uh, she just a wild bitch, but she look good though. Okay. Um, one of my close homies, one of my close niggas, uh, started fucking with the bitch and it was all good at first, but then after he fucked her a couple times, it looked like it started getting good to this nigga. And next thing I know, it's like this nigga, his wife and this bitch. And I'm like, nigga, why are you wife in this bitch? You know what I'm saying? And and then he goes on to tell me that, you know, she changed her way. She ain't the way she was no more. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm telling him, I'm like, man, this bitch is wild. She out there. What is you doing, man? Come on, man. This nigga insisted he changed the bitch. He moved her into his house. You know, the bitch don't have to pay rent no more. Living with him and shit, right? This go on for a little for a little bit of time. And then one of my other homies, this, you know, player type of dude, he let me know he been fucking the bitch for a while now. You know what I'm saying? And... All of us is really kind of cool, but since old boy made the move and wife the bitch, niggas kind of been looking down on him a little bit, but niggas been tolerant of it. But then this nigga let me know he been fucking the bitch. My other partner been fucking the bitch all along too, right? So this nigga say that, you know, he 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 gonna continue to fuck low key, you know, and he don't give a fuck about my other peoples who who the bitch live with, right? And I know all of this, so you know I'm feeling bad because I know all of this shit, man. And you know I, you know this shit is bad, man. I I I love both of my niggas, man. I wanna I wanna I wanna say something to my peoples. That this bitch is living with, man. You know, cause you know my people's. This bitch is living with my people's. Any paying a bitch rent and all this shit, man. I, I just, you know, I, I. What should I do? Okay, so y'all, I hope y'all understand that. Com- understood that confusing shit. This nigga say that. Uh, here's a bitch. This look good. This known hoe at the school. And she's now living with one of their homies, right? And another homie is fucking. And this nigga know, and he want to know what to do about it. Okay. Here's what you do about it. You don't do nothing about it because it ain't none of your business. You understand me? If your nigga wife the bitch... Love the bitch and put the bitch in his house and and the bitch uh don't pay rent the bitch living there nigga do not interfere with what that bitch is doing man you understand me now when it all blow up you just let it blow up if your man come to you and say oh man why don't you tell me you just say hey man i really didn't know what was going on man you know, I try to tell you from the gate that that bitch was off the hook now. You you found out now. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't hearing me. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? 
So that's how you play that, man. And I know that shit sound fucked up, man, but it's too far in the game now for you to be just interfering for no reason and shit. So that's too bad that your man uh, let the pussy overwhelm his mind. That's See, that's a case of the pussy overwhelming your mind. Okay, now let's get on our topic for today. I hope we got enough time. Our topic of today is old bitches and young niggas. Old bitches and young niggas. Okay. Now, truth be told, you know, there's pros and cons to that situation. There's always benefits and it's a downside, you know. One of the benefits of a, of an old bitch fucking with a young nigga is a nigga can learn some good fucking techniques, you know what I'm saying? You can learn little tricks and shit, you learn what buttons to push. A bitch would be a good little mentor for you in that capacity right there. So that's a positive to a degree if you need that type of game. You understand me? Also, some niggas might not get a whole lot of pussy early on and they need to, you know, get some good practice with some fucking and get their fucking skills right. Basically the same thing as I already said. It could be beneficial. At that point, you know, I think it starts to decline after that, the, the, the benefits decline. Now, of course, you know, you could get in a situation where old bitches breaking bread with you or whatnot, and, and, you know, you could do that, but most of the time, an old bitch is going to have a whole lot more game than you and then been ran over by niggas with way more game than you. So by the time she get to your green ass with no game, she just gonna be running circles around your ass. You understand me? She gonna be running circles around your ass. You know what I mean? If you wanna get a good feeling for what I'm speaking on, you could check out this movie. It's a movie out there called Alfie. Go go see see Alfie on DVD and you'll see how the old bitch handled the situation in that film. You understand me? Now See, it all go back to niggas having tender dicks and being able to straight arm a bitch and just push a bitch back and make a bitch break bread before you be fucking. You understand me? Now, if you could observe those types of re- rules and regulations, you could probably actually get some paper up out of old bitch. Right? But you got to play the game correctly. You can't come in with, you know, fucking the bitch a whole lot and then thinking she gonna give you something after the fact. It, it's not gonna happen. It gotta be oblation before penetration with old bitches. I'm telling you straight out. It gotta be like that. It got to be oblation before penetration with old bitches. You know, now, a lot of old bitches, uh, no matter what, the seasoning, they done already got fucked over by so many niggas that the seasoning is advanced, you understand me? And they actually may already hate niggas or whatever, but just need to use your youth and, and get that youth up out of you in the form of your semen into the bitch, you know? The bitch want to just, just fuck you, just get that energy up out you, you know what I mean? And them old bitches, it's real seasoned in that because they know that the most young niggas got tender dicks and they could never straight arm a bitch back and make a make a bitch break bread first. You know what I'm saying? Because most young niggas just is tender dicking it, period. And they think a, a young nigga get with an old bitch and think he coming up by getting a whole a overflow of pussy. You know what I'm saying? Nigga getting an overflow of pussy and feel like he coming up, but really it's the old bitch using it in the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Really, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And the only way to reverse that is oblation before penetration with them old bitches. You know what I mean? And um, that's all it is. That's all it is. Straight out. Now... A lot of niggas out there, uh, you know, on the flip side, 
you can benefit 